What's going on guys? Hearing with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the egg lock run. In the last video we did a little bit of grinding and we told some subscriber stories and I got my Pokemon up to these levels in a moment. We have Beto, the Lapras, who someone actually pointed out that I should have gave him Body Slam. Uh, but I did not realize that their physical and special, his physical and special attack was virtually the same. So, but I'm actually quite happy with his moveset right now. So I'm glad I didn't give him uh, Body Slam. We have Hockey, who is level 12. I didn't really do much with him yet. He's really hard to train, kind of. Um, Toto, level 20. Charcoal, level 18. Sipper, level 17. And Moon is level 19. And I know we may be a little underleveled, but I have a strategy for taking on Misty. So, but before we get to that strategy, we have to go talk to this Clefairy. Hiya, oh, yeah, I'm not a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true Pokemaniac. Okay, yeah, so uh, I think everyone's probably heard this speech like 10 times before. But apparently, I actually found this out from you guys in the comments. After you talk to Bill and you get the um, the SSN ticket or whatever it's called, you can actually go to Vermilion. Uh, the police officer will move and you can go to Vermilion. I've played this game probably a million and two times, and I was like confident you couldn't go to Vermilion until after you beat Misty. So, yeah, I didn't know that. But, you know, it doesn't matter. We're going to be taking on Misty pretty much up next anyways. So, I could theoretically go down to the route to the two routes below Vermillion and catch some Pokemon there but honestly that would just have to be more grinding I'd have to do and it seems like it'd be easier to just save them for uh, after where we hit Misty and because I just know if I go there and I get an electric type I'm just gonna be so disappointed so or a grass type would also make me right Ooh, actually let's go heal up beforehand so what is my strategy for Misty well I'm pretty sure Heracross can probably take on everything except her Starmie. I'm really kind of scared of the Starmie, but um, that's where my plan comes in. It's because I have Beto, the Lapras, who has both Confuse Ray and Sing. So my plan is to Confuse it, and then to put it to sleep, then just beat it up with Ice Beam, because Ice Beam would be the most powerful move I could do against it. And I really wish I could use Charcoal, because Charcoal is Shadow Ball, and that would be super effective. But... I forgot to put Heracross up front, and that's what I wanted to do. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. I could always switch, I guess. Um, yeah, because I don't have anything that could hit Horsey super effective, so it'd be easier to just switch. Bubble! Oh my god, not the bubbles! Not the bubbles! No! I'm so scared of the bubbles! I don't. Okay, yeah, of course we're just gonna start missing every freaking move now, Heracross! Want to maybe hit that thing? Thank you. Okay, it's dead. Goodbye. And because I'm going to switch out now because I don't trust that, um, let's go. Uh, pretty much everyone's like at the same level except Hockey, who's just chilling behind here. Uh, I, w I think he gets Metal Claw like at 16, but we can't use that yet. So let's go Moon, I guess, because Moon does have Double Kick, and that will be super effective. Wait, is Shelter Ice type yet, or does Shelter become Ice once it evolves? I don't actually remember. Okay, so apparently it doesn't become an ice type till it evolves. Oh, poop. I forgot. I'm not smart. But it only hit two times. Okay. Let's try Mega Kick. It actually hit, surprisingly. And that's a dead shelter, so. Awesome. Okay. I I couldn't remember if shelter actually um, was a ice type at shelter or if it didn't begin the ice type until cloister. Now we know it doesn't become an ice type until it becomes cloister, so. You learn something every day. Um, so we just got this one little pic. Why can't they have swimmers in here? Why in the world is a picnicker in here? I'm. It's like a. Oh, you might have peck. Oh, I just realized Goldine might have peck, and that's actually really scary. Please don't. Okay, it's dead. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I really should have thought that through. I mean, me not thinking. That's how I lost freaking bag on Coronis, the best nickname ever. Okay, here we go. Time to take on Misty. I'm feeling somewhat confident about this. Let's go. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach to catch and train Pokemon? Blah, blah, blah. You water, yeah, water types. You swim and suit. You're ugly. That. I don't get why everybody, like, has the hots for Misty. I mean, I, like, I never really, like, saw what was so amazingly beautiful about Misty. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, but, yeah. Okay, to start you, that was very easy. I will stop using the speed button now because this is supposed to be dramatic. Beto, this is all up to you now. Hopefully you don't miss Sing. I know Confuse Ray luckily has 100% accuracy, but uh, Sing, hitting that would be wonderful. Let's go for the Confuse Ray first, Swift, and that does 
Oh, you took that so well. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Uh, Confused Ray. I want to try putting it to sleep. I'm afraid I'll miss. It'll be, if it hits itself, that would be nice. It, yo, you hit yourself. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sing. Wow, we actually hit it. I will speed up Sing because Sing's a very boring, dull, slow, bag move. All right, now let's see how much Ice Beam is going to do because... We do have to worry about her super potion, so that might make this a kind of stally battle, unfortunately. Ooh, wow, that's actually doing a decent amount. If we can hit it to like two more times without activating its super potion, um, well, actually, if it doesn't, if it wakes up and hits itself right here, and then we hit Ice Beam, then I think we'll kill it. But I don't know if she'll super potion at this rate. Oh, all right, I was hoping it would wake up. Oh well. Okay, so Ice Beam's gonna put it down into super. Oh, never mind. Thank you. Critical Hits has been doing a very good job so far today, and that's actually really scaring me now that I think about it. Because every time I get really good luck, it comes back to haunt me very, very quickly. So, but it doesn't matter. We have our second badge now. Good job, everybody. Let's let's clap or fap, however you celebrate beating Misty. It's all up to you. You know, you can do what you wish. I don't judge. So we also got TM03, which is Water Pulse, which for some reason our Aron knows, which I still think is kind of a waste because I don't believe Aron has the best special attack. I might be wrong, but eh, you know, I'd much rather have physical moves, so I probably won't keep Water Pulse that long. Uh, I mean, it's somewhat a good coverage move because of like ground types, but eh, you know, there's a lot better moves. So do we have Pokeballs? Before I go catch a new, okay. We got plenty of Pokeballs. Let's go catch ourselves a brand new Pokemon then. Oh, I gotta take you on. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard, huh? Me, I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? I don't believe you, sir. You're on a Team Rocket outfit, and that obviously means you like rockets. If you catch my drift. And by drift, I actually mean rockets. Don't get your mind out of the gutter, people. I'm not trying to insinuate anything. That's just wrong. Okay, so let's switch into our Nitto King. He's going for Focus Energy, which is actually probably really horrible because that pretty much like guarantees he's gonna get a crit but he didn't okay that's surprising I was sure he would there uh, now that we can actually face some trainers again and we're gonna be getting the um, versus seeker in vermilion we could actually start doing some like really somewhat decent speed grinding now because we won't have to take on the low level Pokemon we could take on the trainer Pokemon which actually give decent experience so I'm actually very excited about that because that little bit of grinding I did in the last video took 56 minutes, and I didn't even get all my Pokemon up to decent levels, so, yeah. Anyways, what is, I don't remember what route is down here. It is Route 5. Okay, we can catch a new Pokemon on Route 5, and our new egg is going to be, oh, it's Meowth. Interesting. Level 10, not incredibly horrible. Let's try a Headbutt. I don't believe that would knock it out. Okay, that's good. Let's try chucking some Pokeballs now. I don't know if I should go back to Viridian, or not Cerulean, or if I should just save my hatches for Viridian. I think I'll just save them for Viridian and I'll do, um, because I think I could get four Pokemon. See, I can get the two routes on the way to Viridian, I can fish in Viridian, I can go to Diglett's Tunnel, and I can go to, uh, the route east of Viridian. So that's five Pokemon we're going to be getting today, so... <laughs> You guys better put your hatching pants on because we're gonna get a ton of illegals if you know what I mean. Uh, actually, I got a personal, I got a PM on YouTube the other day. Apparently, someone actually took the time to hatch every single Pokemon and out of 120 eggs they, that there is, apparently there is um, 29 illegal Pokemon. So that 16, holy poop! Wow, I am. Wow, I'm actually really happy with how high level that is. Awesome. Um, the good thing is Pidgey pretty much cannot touch Hockey at all because Hockey is quad resistant to normal types and I believe we're quad resistant to flying type attacks as well. So all this Pidgey can really do is be very upset with us and sand attack us, which is rude. And are we going to catch it one try? Yay, we got it. Happy sauce. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother nicknaming the eggs anymore because it's just kind of a waste of time. I'm going to try to skip as many trains as I can for now because I want to save these for once I have all my hatches. Unfortunately, there are two Pokemon at the end of the route that like you can't skip. You have to battle them. So, And apparently, you can't even get away from a stupid Meowth. Are you serious right now, boy? Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Hockey? 
Hockey. Oh, hockey. 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 Don't play this game with me. Don't play that game. I don't like it when you play that game. Okay, so back to these two wimpy little picnickers that we have to destroy their lives. They didn't do anything wrong. They could have went and lived a happy life, but no, they decided to mess with me. And you want to know what happens when you mess with me? I send a tiny little miniature hockey player rock metal ball rock water pulsing thing after you. There's nothing you can do about it because he's just going to headbutt you and it's going to hurt because he's literally made of steel. And there's nothing you can do about it. The good thing is these level 16 Pidgeys are fantastic training for hockey because like I was saying earlier, they pretty much cannot cause any damage to him at all. You know, even their stab gust does one eight one PP to us, so that's kind of pathetic, Pidgey. You need to step your game up. If it was a Pidgeotto, we'd be in trouble, because Pidgeotto's are amazing. And oh, there's Metal Claw. I thought we got Metal Claw at 16. Uh okay, let's get rid of tackle. We don't need that. So now we have our first stab move. And I'm actually considering giving um, him I haven't decided if I am, but I'm considering giving him Rock Tomb, because I don't think he learns any rock I actually don't know. I'll have to take a look at his moveset. But I just know, like, if I teach him Rock Tomb, he'll pretty much immediately die. Because that seems to be how TMs work. So, I'm going to have to be... Okay, let's just miss every freaking frick Metal Claw. Come on, why not? Want to maybe hit a move this time, man? Okay, thank you. Um, as I was saying, it seems like every time in a Nuzlocke... Can we hit something that you, like... You find this really awesome Pokemon, you decide to teach him a move. He just kind of dies, like, right afterwards. And you wasted the TM, and then you're sad. So... I'm pretty sure Hockey can take continue taking people on, so let's give him a nice potion and keep him nice and rested before he has to kill yet another Picnicker's poor dreams. All the Picnickers wanted to do was have some fun, and we just we can't let that happen. Oh, but this one has Spearows. Spearows are kind of like Rattatas in the fact that they're very like crit, like kind of hacky, and their um, Fury attack is very dangerous from a Spearow because it seems to kill everything. <laughs> I might be over exaggerating there, but it really does seem to do a lot of damage. And Spiros, or Spiros in general. Ooh, nice attack raise. Spiro, don't do a lot. Okay, that didn't do very much at all. Radic wait, how do you have Eradicate? What's going on here? I thought Rattata didn't evolve till 20. Or, or 18. I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have Eradicate right now, so. I'm a little suspicious of you. Okay, so before I do anything else, and I don't want to have to hatch like five eggs in a row, so we're going to go hatch our first two eggs, and then we'll go work on getting some more. So this is just kind of going to be a big hatching episode, which I actually really like these, because hatching eggs is a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy the mystery of what are we going to get. Okay, so for this Meowth, let's take box... Um, let's take box four. Let's try this egg. And... Oh, I just realized we have to put someone in a box. Okay, we'll put Toto in the box for a while. And for our lovely level 16 Pidgey, let's take box one and this egg. Let's take the very first egg and see what we get. And we'll put uh, we'll put Charcoal in the box for now. The good news is we might be able to go down to one water type. And if I have to pick one water type, I'll probably go with Lapras. Just because Lapras... Uh, has a better move pull than Croconaw right now. So the first one that's going to hatch is going to be our level 10 Meowth. And this is going to be... Oh, come on! <laughs> really? <laughs> Why do you guys love water types so much? Okay, I'm going to name you... I'm going to name you Draco. I don't know why, because... Uh, yeah. I had a... In um, my Platinum Nuzlocke, I had a Seviper named Malfoy. And this time I'm going with Draco. So before I forget, let's get into level 10 because I don't want to get them confused. Actually, before before I forget, let's make sure it's legal because I don't want to have to waste my rare candies on an illegal Pokemon. As tackle. <sighs> Why do I? <laughs> How the heck is a horsey supposed to punch something? <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I've actually had a few people ask me like what I'm gonna do if like I run out of Pokemon eggs because of like all the illegal Pokemon and I've actually put some thought into it if I run out of eggs which I doubt well, well I, I don't know I doubt that'll happen but I guess it's possible um, but if I were to run out of eggs I would start using the illegal Pokemon that like um have 
illegal movesets. Like, I would use the not of all Pokemon that have, like, illegal movesets, but I would just find ways to teach them legal moves and just not use the illegal moves. But I'm not going to worry about that till I get done with all the actual legal Pokemon, because the ones that are 100% legal deserve to be used first. So, this one is actually going to be the level 16 Pidgey, so let's see what it is. Hopefully it's legal. It's... Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh yeah, okay. Uh, you know what? In tribute to my Mystery Dungeon Let's Play, I'm gonna name you Minion. After, uh, after Unlawful Exile. So, because he's my Minion, in case you didn't know. Please be lethal, legal. I really would love him, um, an Absol. You have Pound. I'm going to assume that's his starting move, because it actually looks like it probably would be. So, if I'm wrong, you know, it's the end of the world. <laughs> but let's get him up to level 16. And I think I will pause while I do that, because this is going to take a minute. So once... Okay, so our Absol is now level 16, and we're in Quick Attack and Taunt along the way. So let's go hatch our second attempt at Meowth. And I hope you guys understood the explanation I was doing for what I'm going to be doing if I run out of legal Pokemon. Um, if I did a bad job of explaining it, I might... I, I don't know. Just ask me in the comments. If, like, oh, now I know someone's going to be like, Hardy, I'm stupid and I don't understand. Please explain the world to me. So... <laughs> Just try to understand what I was saying. I don't think I made it that. Oh, yeah. You better be legal or I'm going to be so sad. Okay, let's name you. I don't know why, but I'm going to nickname you. I, you know, I'm just going to go with like the theory I did for Bagon. I'm just going to come up with some super random nickname. So I'm going to name you. Uh, Ni. Nikes. Nikestro. Yeah, Nikestro. Okay, that is an amazing nickname, if I do say so myself. Please, 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 for the love of Arceus, be legal. I really want you. Wing attack, rock tomb, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I know those are both moves they can learn. Oh. Okay, so let's get this bad boy up to level 10. I'm actually, I'm actually really happy right now. Um, I don't have to have two water types. I actually think I have a pretty decent team at the moment. Um, we learned agility. Happy face. Uh, I don't remember who all I have in the box. I know I have Poliwag in the box. I have Toto in the box. I have Dra uh, my Drag Dratini in the box. Um, and I have... Oh, Houndor. Oh, I want to take Houndor, actually, because Shadow Ball is super useful. Um, and having a Dark type. Well, I have a Dark type now. Um, actually, I guess I think I'm going to take Houndor over Absol for now. It'd be kind of good to have Absol in the box in case we need him. And I don't think he'll get bite for some time. And I'm pretty sure Absol's more of a physical attacker anyways. And Dark is all special in this gen. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So, we have three more places we can go catch Pokemon now. So, I don't remember which place we get the... F is this where we get the fishing rod? Yes, it is. Okay. Awesome. So we would go fish with our old run, we would get like a level 4 Magikarp. But it's fine because a level 4 Magikarp is still a Pokemon. Doesn't matter what level you are, a Pokemon is a Pokemon no matter how weak. Remember that. The same goes for people. A person is a person no matter how small. Even like little babies, whether we like it or not, they are people. So, yeah. I, don't, I was rather upset when I found out that even babies are people. It's like, really? Really? Why would anybody want a baby to be a person? It's not like it can talk or anything. It's just they're annoying us. So, either way, we got the magic card very easily. Um, I'm going to name you, I don't know, Bob. I didn't mean to give it a nickname, but I did. So, now it's Bob. And we're going to go get our two other Pokemon before we hatch this time. I don't think we can get anybody on SSN. Because that would actually be kind of weird. So, um, I don't like Diglett's Cave very much. The good thing is Diglett's Cave will be a fantastic place to train, like, Water-type and Grass-type Pokemon. Um, but, uh, I was kind of hoping we'd get that trio, but level 17, holy poop sauce, I'm a happy face right now. Um, let's go... Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no! Okay, let's just try catching you. Don't magnitude, please don't magnitude, please don't magnitude. I want, no, I hope, no. Come on, stay in the ball. One, two, three. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was scary. That was, that was really scary. Oh, I almost lost my Aron. 
Aeron. I don't actually know how it's properly pronounced. I think I always get it wrong. Anyways, we have one more Pokemon that we can go catch, and it's going to be a level 13 Spearow. I am not afraid of this Spearow. I will make this Spearow's life a living horror. I was going to say something else, but I'm like, you know what, let's go with horror. Because horror sounds very terrifying. Okay, so... Wow, I really have to be careful next time I go into Diglett's Cave. I have to make sure I don't have hockey up front. Because I believe I'm... I believe I'll probably you. God dang it, I don't want to give you a nickname. I'll probably use Flash to get through Rock Cave. I think, I think it's called Rock Cave. Because I really dislike going through it without Flash. I'll have to find someone that I don't like very much to give it to. Uh... I don't know. I don't even know if I have anybody that can warn it at the moment. I probably do. Um, maybe Dunsparce Color Flash. That would be nice. He might actually be able to now that I think about it. Anyways, for our Magikarp, let's take box one. Let's go this one. Um, let's just put a bunch of Pokemon in the box. We're going to have a... Our, our lovely little box is filling up. I actually like the fact that this box is more Pokemon than the dead box. Because it doesn't seem like that happens very often for me. Uh, for Diglett, let's take box... Uh, let's take box three and let's go this egg right here and we'll put Nikestro, still the greatest nickname ever <laughs> in the box and as for Spiro let's take box two we haven't taken that much from box two yet so let's take one from here and we will put um Houndor back in the box okay so I have to remember the first one we hatch will be level five the second one's gonna be 17 the third one is gonna be 13 so let's go hatching all right the first one it's our magic carp Please be legal. I'm really getting annoyed by illegal stuff, but oh, you fancy! Huh? Oh, I love Fancy, man. I'm gonna name you. Like seriously, when I was younger and I watched the anime, I loved Ash's Fancy. He was so so cute and adorable. I'm gonna name you Trunks. Yeah, that's a good nickname for a Fancy. Oh, I hope you're legal. I've no, I don't think I've well, actually no. I've had. I think I used a Don fan in Wi-Fi before, so. Bad news is you don't get any rare candies. So, Tackle, Growl, Odor, Sleuth, Return. Sounds pretty freaking legal to me. So, let's move on to our now next to be level 17 Pokemon. And uh, while we're hatching, I kind of... Someone was saying that the reason my Pokemon are so weak is because I'm using rare candies. And that means that they're not getting EVs. That is like one of the stupidest statements I've ever heard. First off, at this point in the game... EVs have virtually no difference at all on your Pokemon. I mean, the only time EVs are really actually useful is in Wi-Fi battling because you have to be level 100. If you're level 100, every four EVs adds to one more stat point. It doesn't work that way when you're this low of level. You know, when you're this low level, it takes like 30 EVs for one extra stat. And not to mention, at level 17 or whatever my Pokemon are, they're not exactly going to have a lot of EVs so trust me we're not missing out on much and my Pokemon aren't weak so oh it's a Teddy Ursa nice um I will nickname you um um I'm going to nickname you Tubby yeah that's a good nickname I don't know why I was thinking like Teletubbies and I'm like you know what he looks like a Teletubby so let's make sure he's A-OK -okay before we level him up counter uh, I'm not really a big fan of that because that means you have to take a hit first but whatever either way I will pause level him up really quick so be all be okay so I have Teddy Ursa is all grown up and I actually don't know when Teddy Ursa evolves an Earth Ring and I don't think I've ever really used an Earth Ring before so uh, that should be an interesting experience anyways our next Pokemon is going to be our level 13 Spearow and we've actually had a pretty good streak so far I think we've only found one illegal Pokemon out of like the five hatches we've done so far so I think that we've been freaking some picking some pretty darn good eggs, if you know what I mean. But um, I I don't know. I have a feeling that because I just said that, we're probably gonna get an illegal Pokemon next, which is gonna make me sad. Hardy doesn't like illegals, although I I try to make him. I know it gets kind of annoying seeing all the illegal hatches. I try to at least kind of make him entertaining, you know, instead of just like being oh I hate you. I try to make him maybe a little comical. I don't know. I do my best, anyways. Our last hatch for today is going to be, ooh, another ground type. Okay, so apparently like the only Pokemon I got submitted were water and ground types. Nice. I'm just gonna nickname you Mask. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna nickname you. Actually, no, I don't know. How to... Well, I don't know how to spell his name. So, I was. What just happened? What do you want to turn on sticky keys? Um, no. 
Okay, that was weird. Uh, I'm going to name you... Uh, yeah, let's go with our famous theory of random nicknames. I'm going to nickname you... Re... Kyo... Re... Uh, you know, that is a horrible name. Let's not do that. <laughs> let's try... Pe... Peducci. Peducci. <laughs> yeah. Peducci. Okay. And he is... Is he frustration? Really? Ball moves? Um, that's kind of sucks because Pokemon gain happiness relatively quickly. Anyways, oh, before I forget, he's supposed to be level 13. Um, I, I've just, like, you never realize until you start doing egg locks, like, how many Pokemon you've never really used before because I don't think I've ever used a Keyboard or, um, Marowak before, so. I've always been really, like, limited when I play Pokemon for some reason. Like, I always stick to, like, the same team no matter how often I play the game. I'm like, oh, I like these Pokemon, so I'm going to be doing it. It's like, I'm pretty sure every time I play through Unova, I've always used a Levani because Levani is probably, like, one, definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. I love Levani for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what it is about it that makes me like it so much, but it's so adorable. I'm going to get rid of Frustration. I just, that move's going to be really useless once we get any kind of happiness. So, now that we have all those Pokemon, let's decide on our team. I don't think I'm going to use anybody I just hatched, so... Um, let's put Trunks in the bank for now. I I want to take Charcoal, because Charcoal will be useful against Gary's Kadabra. I'm not going to take Paducci, because I already have a ground type, so let's get Aron back. And I'm not going to take Teddy Ursa right now, because I'm actually pretty in love with Aerodactyl, so... I'm actually really happy with our team now. Hopefully you guys are too. Next time we'll be going to the SSN, and we will probably do some training, and then taking on Gary. I don't know if we'll be taking on Lieutenant Surge. We'll just have to wait and see. Until next time, I'm Marty Tegoyo. Oh, really quick, because I know people are going to ask, where do you get the Versus Seeker? Right here. The urge to battle with someone you tangled with before. Have you ever had the urge? I have something for you. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over and over too. So I've been giving these away. Please take one. It's the Versus Seeker, the one of the greatest items in Pokemon. It allows you to re-battle trainers, and it's fantastic. So there you go. Now you don't have to ask. Until next time, I'm Marty Tegoyo. Thank you for watching. How about maybe 200 likes for all these hatches? Peace.